Hello, hello. Happy Monday. It's Cecile Team 6. Welcome to my channel. We are doing Date Night Monday. That's where we do a dating simulator of some kind. We've been working on Pio Fiore Fatal Memories, or Fated Memories. <laughs> Hopefully not fatal. <laughs> We've played games like that before. Um, <laughs> so, all right. With that, let me get all teed up. Beep. Hopefully you guys are having a good Monday. All righty. Beep. Okay. Last we left off, um, let's see. Somebody tried to murder my character. Hey, uh, Electromeister, how's it going? Hope you're doing well. Let's see. Last time we left off, uh, somebody tried to murder me in my room. One of our mafia people tried to murder me. <laughs> Mika, hello. Happy Monday to you as well. Yes, murder. Boom, boom, boom. Yeah, murder uh, was almost on the menu, but uh, it was thwarted by uh, the our, our boyfriend. <laughs> Maybe our question mark boyfriend, Nicola. But let's watch the opening intro. <laughs> Thank you so much, Electromeister, for that redemption. Your timer is starting. Alrighty. Yeah, that's a that's a good intro. It's it's catchy. It's catchy. So um okay, what was I saying? Uh we almost got murdered in our room by a fellow mafia member, um, who's family was getting threatened and we tried to save him because we walked in on him getting super duper tortured uh and uh nicola was just kind of like we're gonna kill him and it was like no don't do it and, and then dante the boss was like no we're we're gonna kill him and then nicola was like no you know what we won't kill him but we're gonna torture him real bad uh so <laughs> so our person's a bit scarred so that's where we're at so it's been a little weird <laughs> for us so now we're on chapter four. Okay. Without any explanation, Nicola took me into the other room. There were two men inside. One wore glasses and looked intelligent. The other. Yo, Kosu, Visconti. Ore no Jiko Shokaima, Hitsuka. I remember you, Senor Redford. Hey, Bino! <laughs> yep, it's, uh, you know, it's about the Mafia, so we got a <laughs> Mario the Plumber. <laughs> Hope you're doing well. Happy Monday. All right, Gilbert Redford. We, we met him, like, in episode one. He was parading around the town. No. Aitsu Oliver Hass, Bengosta. Holy to a motor, Kanekan Joni Motsiokena, Uchino Kinkobanda. I'm a ghost. Hello, happy Monday. I hope your work day goes by fast. Thank you so much for checking in. <laughs> <laughs> and 
Thank you, Beano. I've been good. Yeah. The man named Oliver looked at me and formally bowed his head. I bowed to him as well. I haven't. Oh, right. Oh. Okay, here's here's where we actually actually left off. Basically, uh, we tried to save the guy's life. Uh, Dante, the mafia boss, was like, nah, don't do that. Uh, Nicola then, like, took me hostage and, and, like, looked like he was betraying Dante, which he might, he might actually be betraying. I don't think he is. I think he's doing this for my safety because now he's taken, he's taken me to the opposing mafia group's manner, um, to, to deliver me. So I think he just is trying to keep me safe and that's why he did that. But we don't know that yet. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, but you know, it's it's some it's some mafia drama. Nicola shrugged and chuckled since I didn't respond. Seeing him act as he usually did made me almost forget that I was with the Visconti.裏切り者はまた裏切るかもしれないその器具はいつまでも続くものだだから我々の身内でもニコラを招き入れることに抵抗があるものが多いいや、it's a bad look。突拍子もない話だろうがまずは聞いてくれ何でもあんたは教国にとって特別な意味を持つ存在なんだそうだで教国はあんたのことを保護を従ってるスペシャルメイそうだ。the what were they talking about? I sputtered with disbelief. This is all a terrible misunderstanding. I'm not special. I just live at the church. I've never heard a single person tell me anything otherwise. What do you mean? I thought that that was Laoshu and their human trafficking. So the Laoshu targeted orphans because... This can't be true. バルツオネはかなり前からこの話を嗅ぎつけてたらしいな。だからあんたを厳重に保護してた。カスティディ？ただの何の価値もねえ娘だったらどうにでもできたはずだろう。わざわざファルツオネの屋敷に囲まわなくても隠れ家を使うなり別の土地に移すなりな大事な本拠地カポの手元に意味なく置いておくわけがねえ。I glanced at Nicola. じゃあ気をつけてね。君が無事でいてくれて安心した。has Nicola been looking out for me since the very beginning because of this? I didn't want to believe it, but the more I thought about it, the more sense it made. 
keeping me at the Falzoni Mander under their care. Living in that extravagant room. It was all because I had value? So you work at Visconti, Nicola to Anta, okay, did Cotonista Anta no Sonsega, Kyoko Nito, the Donna Cacho Mots no Gavashilane Uchua Kyoko to Nidani, Chokes no Pipe in Arbakaja Nakarana Danga, Oretachi Nito, Anta, or show you still Koto Sonomoni Imigar Parutone to Kyoko Nitais, Hitojichi Mita in a Mondana. Oh my. Oh my. So, how long do I have to stay here? His words were bold and resolute. Your goal? But how will I know? When I can go, if you don't tell me what your goal is, and what if you're slacking towards your goal? Gilbert tapped Oliver's shoulder as if to reprimand him for replying coldly to me. Kyokoko Everything I had heard up until now was hard to believe. I had never even considered being anything more than what I was. But right now, instead of all the words they spun together, something else occurred or concerned me. Of all people, why would Nicola betray Dante? Why did he betray the Falzone? After our talk, Nicola brought me back up to the room where I had woken up earlier. Nicola, I'm not special at all. Nicola doesn't see me as the special someone they were talking about. Hearing that brought me a sigh of relief. But... なぜ教国が君に価値を見出しているのか僕たちにとってその理由は重大じゃないその事実だけで双方にとって君は重要人物なんだだからこそ君はいい取引材料になる There was a lot I didn't understand. But there was one thing I really wanted to find out from Nicola. Nicola? Gilbert and Oliver aren't around now. So can you tell me something? Why are you doing all this? I whispered my question to him, but... And with that, Nicola turned his back and walked toward the door. Wait! I reached out and grabbed his arm. You care for Dante more than the Falzoni family itself. I wasn't at the manor that long, and even I could see that. I'm sure you have a reason for bringing me here. Does the Visconti have something against you? Or is this part of your plan? I'm sure there's a good reason why. You can't be serious. 
お飾りのカポだあれは遠からず瓦解する組織だよだったらせめて僕の手で引導を渡してあげようって思ってもおかしくはないだろ No, you're not that kind of person, Nicola. I know we've only gotten to know each other recently, but I know that you're very kind at heart. That's kind of true. I mean, we did watch him torture a guy. <laughs> but on our behalf, I guess. You were good to me from the very moment I came under the Falzoni's care. And you stood guard over my room. Yeah, yeah. Yeah.君が部屋を出ようとした時に偶然僕が通りかかったそれだけのことだ。君は僕のことを何度も優しいって言っていたけど、全部勝手な思い込みだよ。Nicola coldly refuted my words. Does that mean you're not approaching me as part of the Mafia? But rather approaching me as an individual? あれは君の勝手な誤解だよ。僕はその言葉を肯定していない。あの夜君を助けたのも。君が強国にとって価値のある人間だからだ。Dang。こうして利用するために優しくしていただけで、それ以外の理由はないよ。He's trying to hurt me to save me. Nicola. I was at a loss for words at its coldness. どちらにしろ、僕は裏切り者だ。近いうちに始末されるだろう。パルゾーネのカポであるダンテに。<laughs> he's trying to protect me because he loves me. Or either that or he's showing me who he is, right? He, you should believe people when they show you who they are. So. But. とにかく僕は最後までビスコンティに協力するつもりだ。Nicola freed himself from my grasp and made his way quickly out of the room. There in that empty room, a thought crossed my mind. I recalled the night I first stayed at the Falzoni Manor. Nicola said it was a coincidence, but there's no way he would have been around at that hour. Even if he wasn't keeping watch, he must have been coming by every so often to check. Not only that, he made a cup of warm milk for me that night. The fact that he cared enough to do that was something he couldn't deny. He loves me because he gave me warm milk. It was the day after I was brought to the Visconti. <laughs> yeah, be now. I drearily awoke from a restless sleep. I don't have any choice but to stay here. What would happen to me if I tried to escape? All I could imagine was that it wouldn't lead to a happy ending. They told me that I could walk freely within the manor, but I still felt like a caged bird. I didn't feel well back when I first stayed with the Falzoni, either. But Nicola and the others all tried their best to make me feel at home. I was walking around the hallway when I noticed something. Where is that coming from? I heard laughter and cheering and began making my way towards the sound. What's going on? I peeked inside the lounge to find a bunch of people laughing and cheering. Um, what? I didn't know how Gil knew I was peeking in, but he immediately dragged me into the room. His voice uh, is the... In the last game that we played, the Code Realize? That's Impy's voice. I... I recognize that one. Oh, um, congratulations. 
グラッツいい家庭を築けるように頑張らねえとなそいつは大事な心がけだなあんまり嫁さんに心配かけんじゃねえぞもちろんだギルもさっさと嫁もらえよ引く手あまただろ世の中には素敵な女性が溢れすぎてるなかなか心を決められない This guy Playboys can't handle さすがギル選ぶ側の余裕だよなそれ I don't like the playboy types. Oh, okay. He's not a playboy. He's, he's just down on his luck. He probably, he's probably a nice guy, but attracts girls who are into bad boys. And when it turns out he's not a bad boy, they're just like, ugh. Ugh. <laughs> the ruck is here. It's, a diff it's different from the Falzoni family. They're so open and frank with each other. To be honest, I wasn't fond of the Visconti. What scared me about them wasn't my abduction, but rather what I'd heard back when I was at the Falzoni Manor. About the Berloni Mafia being killed and Dante's suspicion of the Visconti behind it. But they all look so happy. Wait, where's Nicola? I looked around and noticed Nicola standing quietly in the corner. He wasn't mingling with the Visconti, and neither were they speaking to him. Nicola betrayed his family, so... It seemed like the Visconti members didn't see him in a good light. You are the first time of the Falzone, right? Well, that's right. The Falzone is not例の件については相変わらずだ。組織を問わず、被害者が出てる。犠牲者の数は右肩。ハンド級の人間も標的になっているし、ね。ファルツォーネのカポレジームの件。やはり一連の構成員殺しと関係がありそうか。死体を見る限りはおそらく。やっぱりこれはどこの組織の仕業でもないよ。いろいろ調べてみたけどブルローネマフィア以外の何者かがこの件に噛んでいるとしか思えないふうそれが事実なら各々の組織がバラバラに動くのは効率が悪いな一度話をした方が早いか I froze hearing Gilbert's words どうしたニコラ聞き間違えたのかな今、組織同士で話し合いをしようって言ったまさか、僕がビスコンティに来た理由忘れているわけじゃないよね<笑>もちろんだ。お前はファルツォーネを潰したいんだろうだがそれには準備が必要だ。ファルツォーネを叩いている間にラオシュに襲われたらどうなるしかも。ブルローネマフィア以外にも敵がいるかもしれねえってたった今お前が言ったんだぜ下手に動けば俺たちはそいつに背中から撃たれるかもしれねえ違うか違わない君が正しいよギルバート僕はせいていた His words made me realize that I wasn't thinking clearly about my goal <笑>ニコラの気持ちもわかるさ He laughed in an effort to console me It had already been two weeks since I began staying with the Visconti. Searching for his whereabouts in the manor had become a daily chore for me. Nicola, there you are! I'm glad I found him today. He had been busy since coming here, and I hadn't had much of a chance to talk with him. I spoke with Gil how I was getting bored, so he allowed me to use his kitchen. So, um, I was wondering if you could tell me when we could dine together. I'll make your favorite food then. Gil, eh? Zuiven nakayokanata mitai de yokata yo. Well, he did tell me to call him that. You were there when he said it, weren't you? He looked away from me as I stuttered, then spoke nonchalantly to me. I nikodakado, Bokuno yotewa wakaranai kotonga oikarane. Bokuno skinamonante kinisizu, 
ギルバートの好きなものでも作ってあげたら喜ぶんじゃないかな Oh boy, what, what a little baby It's like, I make something for someone else then Why don't you? Nicola My shoulders fell in disappointment hearing his unfriendly tone <laughs> Yeah, b e n a いいよじゃあ君はおとなしくしていてね Sure Meanwhile I was looking through the papers at my desk while taking a smoke when Marco, 大変です Oh, yes. The rude detective. He ran into my room and caused a breeze that blew the papers off my desk. Roberto combed his hair with his fingers and took a deep breath before speaking. Gilbert Redford got duty to the master. Ah, Kesas any pressure or Kakenatera, Menkai need a Mokitaka. Montaiva, son of Redford got Nicola Francesco, let it under Soka Marco Odoroite, you must send it. Oh, yeah, Odoroite, sir. Masaka. あのニコラがビスコンティにああマルコが何か非公式な情報源を持っているのは知っていますあなたは警察に情報が入るより早く何か掴んでいたのでは正直に話してくださいマルコやれやれ This is going to be a pain Then again he'll find out sooner, sooner than later どうやらニコラはファルツオーネを裏切ったらしいこれからはビスコンティの人間なんだそうだだからお前も今後はそのつもりでな And with that, Roberto's brain exploded Roberto was glaring at me そんな重要な情報をなぜ教えてくれなかったんです Cause you're a firecracker, Roberto You wouldn't even know what to do with it 言ってどうする <laughs> I tapped my cigarette on the edge of my ashtray as I responded in a calm manner. Yeah, he's got some he's got some angst built up for sure. Mafia no Nigel Nante Kanke Negaro. Tashkani, Doko no Soshkin it's Konga, Hanzai Shawa Hanzai Shadesma. Roberto seemed to have accepted my response, though somewhat reluctantly. Suddenly, he raised his head and looked at me. Marco, Ooh, he sounds very concerned about my character. Roberto wasn't seeing Cece in a good light. Roberto is a mafia guy. He's a mafia guy. I was worried he'd misunderstand Cece if I explained her situation, but he was going to find out one way or another. I shrugged and decided to speak the truth. Nicola was going to find out one way or another. He was going to find out one way or another. I could tell Roberto wasn't pleased. Judging by Nicola's association with Cece, she must have some value to him. Which also made sense as to why he would take her with him. Francesca, why did you take her to the house? Huh? Something wasn't right here. Why did you take her to the house? Oh, hey. He was making it sound like he had, a, he had special feelings for her. Roberto, 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 
俺の知らねえとこじゃ親しかったりすんのか Suddenly, a thought crossed my mind. I often took Roberto to the church back when he first arrived in Berloni. I recalled that he seemed interested in CC back then. Whoa! I took a deep breath. Yeah, yeah. Don't be a jerk. <laughs> He's so rude to us. He's rude to everybody, though. I, that's his way, I guess. I cleared my throat before speaking again. Roberto looked pretty irritated. Roberto's shoulders were shaking. He seemed even angrier than before. Roberto looked away from me and spoke as if he were trying to convince himself. Well, he's got a strong sense of justice. I mean, I don't blame him. I don't want to live in a mafia controlled, uh, you know, police either. But something that I wasn't saying, seeing that I wasn't saying anything, Roberto glared at me and began yelling. Roberto quickly turned around and stomped out of my office. He's a, he's a firecracker, that one. I grabbed a dust-covered report from my desk. It was a transfer document from the Rome office about Roberto De Feo. I hope Roberto is a playable character, actually, so. He showed excessive violence against criminals. Oh boy. His life changed when he went off against the son of a pol politician who was caught on a misdemeanor charge. And here he is in Berlone, a town run by the Mafia. He would embrace the culture here and be nurtured into a fine officer. I bet that's what his superiors must have thought. Or they thought he was going to be the, the firecracker that he was and get himself killed. Maybe that's what they were probably hoping for. They're bad guys. I wasn't surprised he had problems here, especially with the place's character. No wonder Roberto was frustrated. I lit a new cigarette and took a long, deep breath. Oh. I chuckled and closed the report. Ch 
Sure. Another meanwhile. I was able to see him again. Only after spending a few more days without him in sight. Welcome back, Nicola. I feel like Nicola has been avoiding me recently. He was frowning at me as if I were a bother, but I tried to keep my spirits up. Um, I heard you haven't been eating much recently. Maybe you're dining out, but there needs to be a balance with... Yes, I know. Oliver told me himself, so... I brought out a plate of panini. A hot sandwich made with various ingredients between pieces of grilled bread. They were stuffed with mozzarella, arugula, and prosciutto. Hmm, that doesn't sound too bad. I made you these. I figured you can snack on them while you do your work. <sighs>いい加減にしてくれないかな。そういうお仕付けがましい気遣い、迷惑なんだ。君が僕に何を期待しているか知らないけど、パルツォーネにいた時みたいに君に接することはもうできない。僕は君をここに連れてくるという目的
ああもちろんお前の都合のいい時間に来てくれ Oh, um, Nicola, how about taking a break? Well, I'm sorry, but I don't have time. I'm busy today, right? Nicola quickly turned around and walked away. I gave a small sigh, seeing him hurry off without another word. How do you think I'm going to do that? I'm going to be angry at you. I'm going to be angry at you. Oliver spoke to me with pity as he dipped a biscotto in his coffee. These past few days, I'd been enjoying coffee with Gil and Oliver here in the lounge. They were a lot friendlier than I thought, and, I, and took the time to speak with me. I'm just getting in Nicola's way. I suppose that's it. He doesn't have that troubled look on his face when he sees me. Or, he does have that troubled look on his face when he sees me. But I was scared that he was just going to disappear from me if I didn't try my best. <laughs> あいつは嘘がうまいからなギルバート余計なことに首を突っ込むないいだろう女が泣いてるのは放っておけねえたちなんだ泣いていないだろうヒーユだよヒーユそれでニコラのことだが嫌がってるのも本気だろうがそれだけじゃねえはずだ What do you mean? そのままの意味だ。別に裏のある言葉じゃねえよ。それより、あんたとニコラのことをちょっと聞かせてくれねえか。Like、what? あいつは何て言ってるんだあんたとはもう話したくないって ?I traced back my conversations with Nicola, then shook my head.He didn't say that to me, but he mentioned that he, o- he only approached me because he wanted to use me. He also said he wouldn't treat me as kindly as he did before. Hey. Gil gave a wide grin and continued to question me. I was happy with how Nicola took care of me back when we were with the Falzone family. But I'm not trying to make amends just so he can keep treating me kindly. So, t h a t あんなに突き放されても食い下がってるもんな。I don't know him at all.It's hard to tell whether he's lying to me or not.Which is why I want to get to know him better. なるほど。だとしたら、すでに答えは出てるようなもんだろう。はあニコラは俺ともそれなりに馴染みなんだ。あいつはもともとビスコンティとファルツオーネの中継ぎをしていてな。その関係でこうなる前からちょくちょく顔を合わせる機会があった。I didn't know that. あいつは他人が自分の内側に入るのを嫌う。人の話を聞くのはうまいが自分のことはあまり語らねえ。いまだに酒の好みも明かさねえからな。ああ、個人的な趣味思考は意識的に隠しているようだ。Huh? Nicola doesn't talk about himself? <laughs> Nicola talked to me about his childhood. Did he make that up to me? T- or did he make that up to mislead me? No, that seemed too real to be a lie. Maybe he spoke to me about it to bring me closer to him. But if he wanted to do that, he could have lied about something a bit simpler. That couldn't be true. A bet? Gilberto, Mata Yoke Nakoto, Kangai t r u n j a n a i d a r o Oliver sighed in disbelief. But Gil was grinning at me like a child. I don't think we'll ever get an answer. Nicola wouldn't tell us even if we asked him directly. He 
All right. I thought for a moment, then nodded hesitantly. Soon, I would find out how bad of a decision it was to agree with Gil's bet. どうにも疲れが取れない気がする。ビスコンティでの仕事のこともあるし、あの子のこともあるし。いやいや、気づかれの原因があの子だなんてありえない。I let out a sigh and chuckled with scorn. I decided to drag my tired body back to the new room that I called home. あ、あれはギルバートだ。Oh, he's going to try and make him jealous. Gilbert held her hand and gently kissed it. Wait a minute, Gil. Gilbert then forced Cece into her room. Wait, Gil, you're too close. Nicola came storming into my room and... He forced Gil off of me, pulling him away as I sat up on the bed in surprise. どうしてジャマするんだニコラ？恋愛は自由だろ？それに彼女はビスコンティへの手土産じゃねえか。俺がどうしようと勝手だろ？恋愛？これのどこが恋愛なの？僕には無理やり手ごめにしようとしていたよう
I looked straight at Nicola. I won't ask that you treat me the way you did back at the Falzoni Manor. Instead, could we rebuild our relationship from the beginning? I want to know who you really are, Nicola. I don't mind you're not treating me well as long as we can talk. Though, to be honest, I'm not sure why I want to talk to you so much. But why? Yes, thank you, Nicola. Because I just am. Nicola let out a sigh, but I could tell he was looking at me with kind eyes. ニコラさんの裏切りですかもし本当だとすれば一大事だぞアンダーボスが裏切るなんてただ事じゃないそうだな事実だとすればこのまま放置するとファルゾーネの後見に関わるああ裏切り者の処遇なんて今更悩むこと
I got dressed as I thought about what happened yesterday. Once I was ready, I opened the door to step into the hallway when... Oh! I suddenly saw him passing by outside my door. He looked at me and smiled a little. Buongiorno. Buongiorno. Buongiorno, Nicola. The weather looks nice today. Eh? So nanda. And our conversation ended. Well, I suppose a morning greeting should be this short. If only we could talk more. It took long enough to finally mend things, too. Oh, um, I found a lot of interesting things in the kitchen here. They have ingredients and seasonings that I've never seen before. I spoke with Gil and he said that he imports the things he likes from overseas. Gil said he liked American pizza. Not only were the toppings different, but even the dough wasn't the same as Berloni. It seems like I got his attention. His response wasn't a simple reaction. I could tell he was actually listening and even opened a conversation. I was thrilled that we continued speaking until we arrived at the lounge. Thank you. Nicola opened the door for me very naturally and escorted me in. I know it was just something he did as a gentleman, but even that made me happy. Thank you. I remember when you used to make them for me before. It felt a little nostalgic. Oh, but this is something you normally do for others, right? Mine would just be one of them. Even so, I'm really happy that you would spare any time for me. Nicola's eyes widened in surprise, hearing my appreciation. Huh? Nicola then turned around to go prepare the coffee. I stared blankly at his back as he left. His attitude seems to have changed from before. He was still acting as a gentleman, escorting me and preparing coffee for me. This is so strange. It's like, it's like, thank you for making me coffee. It's like, are you flirting with me? <laughs> he was right that he wasn't speaking to me in a sweet way anymore. But I was sure that deep down his kindness hadn't changed a bit. I suppose he's just a little strange. His thoughtfulness was just part of his personality. Just thinking about it made Nicola e seem cuter than ever. And then he did like a really magnificent latte art for me. Absolutely. Thank you, Nicola. I'm very happy. Why? Nicola looked away a bit, then sipped his espresso. I looked at him, studying his face. Um, Nicola? I decided to ask him for a special favor. Tuck me in! Read me a bedtime story! It was late at night when I suddenly heard a knock on my door. Nicola, you came! <laughs> no, not at all. I was thinking you wouldn't be able to make it tonight, so I'm happy that you did. That's not why I called you. Not a mafia booty call, so sorry. Don't you remember what I said this morning? Um, do you mind if I ask you a favor? 
<laughs> yeah, Bino. I want to talk with you more. Uh, I know you're busy. So, um, if you have any spare time, that would be great. Well, yes, any time of night is fine, so please come by. <laughs> this seems problem. How was your day? Uh, I did mafia things. I beat up a lot of people. Uh, somebody uh, threw him in the river. Uh, <laughs> I invited him over so that we could talk. Nicola, however, shrugged and sighed. Is it to fix things? Is it to grab things off the high shelves? Is it to open the jars? <laughs> Nicola chuckled jokingly. I wasn't sure what to say. ネファリアス。ああ、期待した方が良かった。顔は赤いみたいだけど。はあ、なるほど。なんてね、冗談だよ、冗談。You're well, I suppose. I settled down, then turned toward him. Thank you, Nicola, for taking time for me, or for making time for me like this. It may not seem like much, but the smile on his face meant so much to me. There's a lot I wanted to talk to you about. The people here are really nice and treat me very well. But I'm still a bit anxious around them, and scared sometimes too. Nicola calmly looked at me and spoke with some edge to his voice. Sure, you're in the mafia, but you're still a person, Nicola, to me. Oh. He was looking at me with a puzzled look on his face. Um, I know that sounds strange, but... No, you do scare me at times. I know you're capable of harming others for the sake of your family. I was terrified when I saw him torture one of his own back in the underground cell. But you're not just scary. Nicola, there's more to you than that. I had so many thoughts and feelings toward him that words weren't enough to describe it. Nicola smiled bitterly, then sighed in a weary way. Thank you. I know it's too much trouble, but I really appreciate it. Really? What Gil told me crossed my mind. Come to think of it, Gil mentioned that you probably felt bad for treating me the way you did. I could tell he was speaking to himself with scorn. I looked at Nicola. Why are you talking to me like this? Even with what happened yesterday, I thought you were going to keep ignoring me. He smiled with a troubled look on his face. Conscience? Conscience? 
両親の呵責なんて感じることなく君に嘘を突き通せるはずだっただけど君がなんていうか何も考えていないお嬢さんに見えて意外と鋭かったり夢見がちなようで大人だったり見ていてどうにも危なっかしくて<笑> That's... That's an odd thought. 選択しても全然引いてくれないしそのうちだんだんかわいそうになってきて。I listened carefully to his words and thought about what he said to me, about me. Um, you said I act like a child and adult and that I'm happy go lucky, but I'm not sure how to react to that. Negging me! Nicola sighed, then tapped his chest with his thumb. Seeing his smile was confusing me. Should I be blushing? Happy? I tried to calm myself down, feeling my heart racing even faster. It always bewildered me for as long as I stayed at the Falzoni Manor. Why, you were so kind to me, Nicola. So, when I learned that you were only treating me kindly to use me, it actually cleared the doubts from my mind. Just a minute. そこは普通怒ったり悲しんだりするところじゃないかなって思うんだけど I suppose if the situation were different I may have been too but I've had far too much on my mind since coming here so it took me all I had to simply try and close the gap between Nicola and myself 僕のことを恨んだり憎んだり嫌いになったりしなかった It was strangely painful knowing you were putting distance between us but Hating you because of it didn't really cross my mind at all. Nicola frowned and looked at me as if I were some mysterious creature. Oh, and even if you were deceiving me, I don't believe all of it was deception. At least, that's how I feel. Well, then, you shouldn't feel bad about what you did or what happened. I feel like I'm letting this guy off too easy. <laughs> Nicola rubbed his forehead with his fingers and was silent. Soon he sighed and muttered quietly. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I think that's a wonderful compliment. Thank you, Nicola. He's like, girl, I'm saying that you're... <laughs> You're silly. That's what. <laughs> it's like. <laughs> Let me see. Actually, if I can ask again, why did you betray the Falzoni family? Dang. <laughs> She's not pulling any punches either. It's just like, oh, you know, we're having a nice, light, casual conversation. Why did you betray your family? <sighs> Why are you sighing? Girl, that's a heavy topic. That's not a that's not a two minute answer. She's naive, she's naive. Um It was right. That question may have been asking for too much. Yes, and I'm sorry I asked. I lowered my head apologetically, to which he calmly asked me a question. Huh? I raised my head and blinked, bewildered by his sudden question. Before I knew it, I nodded somewhat hesitantly in response. Yes, everyone there was very kind to me. Well, maybe they were only treating me well because I had some value to the family, but...
ジュリアやレオはもちろんほとんどの構成員は事情を知らなかったし親切に裏はないよ That's sweet That only makes me want to go back there even more Except for that one guy who tried to murder me He's gone now though Seeing me smile at him with melancholy Nicholas smiled back パルツォーネは血筋を重んじる組織だから本当に大事なことは血縁者にしか共有しないダンテは掟きを忠実に守っているんだ Does that mean he only trusted you, Nicola? So, Kedo, son of Bokuni, Rangundakara, Capomo Katanashtane. Ah, Gomene Dante no Hanashinante, Kitemo Hanoni Komar Dakekana. I noticed something was on his mind. Well, I want to hear more if you don't mind. I smiled at the look of surprise on his face. I thought I said before that I want to know more about you. That means I want to hear about anything and everything. How about when you were little then? After a brief pause, Nicola nodded. He paused again and then finally spoke. Of course. Dante's mother passed away, but Dante didn't shed a single tear. Even as a child, I thought that was odd, so I talked to Dante after the funeral. He kept silent for a while, but soon tears started to flow from his eyes. Aww. <laughs> Seeing him trying his best to hold back his tears made me realize he couldn't show any weakness as the next boss to be. ちょうどいい。何が？えっと、つまり、これからは僕のこと、お兄ちゃんって呼んでもいいよって。ああ。と思ってないで、何か言ったら、ニコラはニコラだから、今さらお兄ちゃんとか。せっかく僕が恥ずかしいから普通に呼ぶけどずっと思ってたんだニコラと仲良くなりたいなってニコラ僕の知らないこといっぱい知ってるからああそんなこと言われたら放っておけなくなると思わない oh. oh. ダンテの父親は厳しい人だったからその分支えてあげないとってずっと思ってたまあ今は支えるどころか真逆のことをしているんだけど泣くような話だったああ。His expression grew concerned as he noticed tears welling up in my eyes. I was just thinking about things. I was just chopping some onions. <laughs> Dante had been burdened from childhood by his position as heir to the family. I could only imagine how comforted he was when Nicola told him that. Nicola must have supported Dante from that day forward. He suddenly extended an arm out. His finger gently wiped the tears from my eyes. Arigato. I didn't do anything. 
ダンテの悲しみを思ってくれたそれが僕には嬉しいんだよ Closed my eyes to fight the tears. Nicola must still consider Dante someone dear to him. He wouldn't show an expression like this if he hated Dante. If so, then why? I couldn't seem to figure it out. Meanwhile, I have no clue why I even spoke to her about it. Come to think of it, there's one thing I didn't tell Cece about. Dante, I said to her, but when I was crying, I was crying. I was crying, so I didn't see anyone. Dante... Something wasn't quite the same with Dante. I found out the next day why he was like that. Julia told me that Dante had been scolded quite badly by his father that day. Dante. He behaved as the perfect heir to the family name from such a young age. I could only imagine what life was like, trying to live up to everyone's expectations. I shoved the memories to the back of my mind as I headed back to the room. I couldn't seem to figure it out. Why did Nicola betray the Falzone family? Why did he betray Dante? The night quietly deepened as I pondered over my unanswered question. A few days later, Gil came to me after dinner. What is it? The Berloni Mafia heads were coming together. I could tell very quickly that it must be a critically urgent matter. Huh? M me? Nicola answered with a straight face. But I could tell the idea wasn't sitting well with him. He's right. Why, why me? I'd just be in the way. How would I be an advantage to you? But it's only for the bosses, right? I'm not really sure I should be there. Gil's request didn't make sense. He was asking me to help, but it was quite clear that I didn't have a choice. これは Gil looked at me sternly and pleaded in a serious tone. I want to avoid casualties too. They waited for me to continue. I took a deep breath and spoke with resolve. 
I'm not sure how much I can really help by being there, but... If it's to help make the meeting a success, I'll go for the sake of Berlone. Grazie, signorina. Gil had a satisfied grin on his face and laughed with high spirits. Nicola, do you have a moment? After dinner, I managed to catch Nicola before he returned to his room. About the meeting... Are you really going to go too? Isn't there an option for you not to go? Stop joking, I'm serious. Because... It'll be both. It'll, it'll definitely be awkward. Be like, you know, that guy you betrayed and the new guy that you're working for? Now, now you guys are meeting. Okay, it'll be dangerous. Isn't it dangerous for you to appear in front of Dante? My concern stemmed from what Nicola himself mentioned to, to me before. どちらにしろ僕は裏切り者だ。近いうちに始末されるだろう。バルゾーネのカポであるダンテに、もしくは僕を心よく思わないヴィスコンティの誰かにね。少なくとも会合の席でいきなり襲われるようなことはないよ。
あんなもの気丈の空論だ許可でけ俺にはそう思えませんうまくいけば将来的にこのブルローネからマフィアを一掃することだって The chief interrupted me with a glare. ファルツォーネのドミニク・ジョルダーニが留置所で死んだだろう。所内であんな事件が起きるなど、前代未聞だ。ファルツォーネは気分を害している。その対応で俺たちはいっぱいいっぱいだ。We should be able to offend those lousy criminals as much as we want. Kono Ken Nitsuitewa, Shigi no Geraldo Paris Kara no Atrikumo Aru, Mentso Tsubusareta to Lipukusteitazo. Omai no Seda Kono Jokiwa. Dang. Ego Hodaga, you look no Shoko Motteiru. Parzone no Kuchio Warase, Soreo Ashigakari, Parzone o Isse Tekasir. そう提案してきたのはお前だ、ロベルト。だがこのざまだ。口を割る前に死なれたとあっては、まあどうにもできん。お前の持ってきた証拠とやらも、今となっては眉つぼものだ。真偽すら怪しい。だから、俺はこの状況を打開するために。Dang. Shorai was Shokubo Sareta Elito Dakananda Gashiranaiga. Omae no Yutori ni Ugoita Kekwa. Parzone to Sejika no Ikari o Katta. Kitai Hazel mo ee Tokoroda. Mo Omae no Hanashina do Kikan. ここの警察はクズばかりだな。救いようがない。犯罪者が一人死んだ程度で、こうも及び腰になるとは。I slammed my fist into the desk, but my anger didn't dissipate. お前もほどほどにして帰れよ。根を詰めてもいいことはねえ、今は。気を待つんだな。I didn't take notice of Marco's words or his, his departure from the room. とにかく今はビスコンティだ。何か決定的な証拠をつかまなければ。こうなったら俺が直接。That's right. Why didn't I think of it earlier? Uh oh. What's Roberto gonna do? Shosen, Dari Hitori or no Segin, it's sweet a corral and I to you no matter. Ore Hitori de Arabai. Uh oh. Oh man. Dari no Taskemo Hitsionai. Korema de Tonazioni. Sleba e da keda. We got a lone ranger here. Kono match de Segi or Nasernoa. Oh. That's not gonna end well for Roberto. <laughs> Sorry, Roberto, you live in the wrong world. Sure, I'm worried, but I was more worried about him, so much so that it was all consuming. The day of the meeting finally arrived. Feels so tense here. Casino no shoeywa, sorezor no soshkima cave or katamate karane. Amidst the pressing silence, we walked toward the casino entrance. I began to chat casually in an attempt to stave off the surmounting tension. I used to walk through the streets here because the church was close by, but I never thought I'd actually go inside the casino one day. Okonokakua Taihanga Kanko Kakarane. Guru, thank you so much. Hello, Guru. Thank you so much for the subscription. 19 month streak. Hello. Woohoo. Thank you so much. 
Everyone, our good friend of the stream, Guru. Go see him. Mm, yeah, there we go. <laughs> Yay, thanks for popping in, Guru. Hope your evening's going well. We are, um, we are staying with a different Mafia family now because our boyfriend betrayed his main family, so... <laughs> Good luck. Yeah, hopefully hopefully we don't get gunned down on the on the stair on the stairs uh like in Godfather 3. The one where so the Sofia Coppola played the daughter. <laughs> and she I think that that she never acted after that cuz like everybody gave her a hard time for being in her dad's movie. So <laughs> Really? It quelled my anxiety to hear him respond just as casually. Yeah, I think I think she's I think she's got a, gr a cr keen eye, a very soft, uh, like beautiful like film style. So yeah, I, I like her stuff. We followed Gil, who was taking the lead. Nicola was walking alongside me at my pace. We're about to meet with all the Mafia heads. Thank you so much for the lurk, Guru. Have fun. Direttore is the director in Italian. We're learning so much terminology today. Come to think of it, I recall seeing guards around the casino on some days. I always thought that meant an important person was visiting. I never expected it to be used in this way. It's basically a hotel ballroom where you can rent out rooms. We finally arrived in front of the doors leading into the room. The heavy doors slowly opened, beckoning us inside. There in the room was... Dante. Gil called out to Dante, who was looking quite irritated. Dante. <laughs> Actually, I actually wanted to do Dante's path first. I just didn't, I just didn't do it right, I guess, and that's why I got stuck with Nicola. <laughs> but Nicola's path isn't so so bad so far. Dante looked beyond Gil. He seemed to be looking at Nicola. Dante's expression didn't change, and neither did Nicola's. They both must feel uneasy. I was sure they were feeling upset deep down. I looked around the room as, as I thought, and suddenly my gaze fell upon Dante. Oh, buongiorno, Dante. I bowed my head to say hello to him since it would be strange not to. Yes, I'm doing fine somehow. Huh? A man hesitantly appeared from behind Dante. You guys busted up my hands real bad, but I deserved it. You're... He was the person who tried to kill me when his family was held hostage by the Laoshu. Are you okay? I should have gone to the boss in the first place. Then, are they safe? That's good to hear. It did feel strange talking to him like this. It was I was even a bit scared seeing him. But hearing that his family was safe made me sigh with relief. A very forgiving group. Capo 
He spoke boldly and with resolve. Then he scratched his cheek a little. <laughs> what a goof. It's just like, um, I know that me trying to murder you also caused Nicola to try and, like, betray the family as well. And I just thought that, like, you know, we're cool, right? <laughs> Are we cool? Me? But not my hands. <laughs> Thank you for thinking about me. I'm doing just fine. They're treating me quite well. After hearing my words, he began glaring at Nicola. <laughs> he doesn't even deserve us. He's not going to make it. <laughs> He's not going to make it in this game. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think you have any right to say anything, Falzone member D, <laughs> who has no name. No face, no name. Yeah. Nicola chuckled and stared coldly at him. Nicola's reply riled the man up, who spoke in an aggravated voice. マフィアにはこの。Dante calmly commanded his irate soldier to halt. <laughs> I, mean, I don't know what's Dante thinking. It's just like a little bit of drama. It's just like, oh hey, I brought, I'm, I'm making you confront the guy who tried to kill you, and all this mess started because of this. But don't worry. He shut his mouth, but I could tell his anger was still swelling inside. His eyes burned with hatred. But he has no eyes. <laughs> Come to think of it. What I saw back then was so shocking that I didn't have a firm grasp on things. But when I thought back on it... Oh. Nicola actually made an excuse to keep him alive? It was then that I felt cold air against the back of my neck. I quickly turned around to see a man walking into the room. Despite his apologetic tone, he had an eerie smile on his face. He's... It was clear this man wasn't normal. I had never seen him before, but somehow I knew who he was. Exotic attire and an aura of prominence. He was the Lao Shu leader, Yang. Yang. He took his seat at the table. Yang suddenly began the conversation with a provocative tone. Sanin ファルツォーネのアンダーボスはファミリーを裏切り、ビスコンティに着いたそうだな。ファルツォーネの過去には
同じ町で商売をする同士が信頼に欠けるこれは由々しき問題だと思うが。Yeah, there's like even more drama because Falzoni member D, like, this is the guy who, like, put his house, like, basically, like, terrorized his family, took him hostage, right? <laughs> Yang continued to try and provoke them. He then looked at Gil. Francesca w Visconti ga uke ire ta to ki ta toki wa mimi o utagatta mono da. Uragiri mono wa izre mata uragiru. Sonna bakudan wo te moto ni oku nado gu no kocho da. Head hunting ute yatsa. Omae mo shitteru da ro, Yang. Nikora wa yushu na jinzai da. ビスコンティリュウだぜ。中津に住めばいいがな。気遣いのありがたく受け取っておく。だが、その話はこれで終わりだ。これは身内の話。ビスコンティのトップは俺だ。俺の好きにさせてもらう。ならば次はそこの女
それともまさかミスコンティはその女を脅しつけてとどまらせているのかもしそうならラオシューも手段を選ばずに彼女の保護をせねばならんな脅してねえよ現に今も拘束してるわけじゃねえし好きにしてもらってるさならば本人の口からその意向を聞かせてもらいたいものだ I could tell everyone in the room was looking at me now What do I want to do? Uh, I think I want to stay with the Visconti Probably Probably Okay, uh Yeah, I want to stay with the Visconti Oh Okay. Signore, I appreciate your concern, but I would like to stay with the Visconti and remain in Berloni. Well, I'm not sure how important I am to the church, but... If I am someone special to them, they would come to me, wouldn't they? I don't understand why they would ask someone else to take custody, on th custody of me on their behalf. I'd rather not leave town without a firm understanding of the situation. That should make sense, right? Thank you, Dante. So you are it ever, or a more hantai shiny cree. Yang narrowed his eyes and grinned. It seemed he was taking an interest in me. Tony Gaku, or a touching out some of you, uh, Hokan Yardaro. So, 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 Honda, any high rose. Nicola, Kanojo, Tilete, Eano Sotoni, Detegre. Bakata Nicola nodded, taking me by the shoulder and leading us to the door. Nicola mumbled in awe as we walked down the hallway. I was scared the whole time. But I needed to make a statement. I looked down at my feet and laughed, thinking about what I just went through. Look, my legs are still shaking. I probably couldn't have left the room without your help, Nicola. I didn't expect Nicola to praise me. It felt a bit strange. It's good to know I helped. I hope they reach some kind of resolution. I don't want to hear any hear of any more deaths in Berloni. I suppose it's all up to the outcome of the meeting. Well, it's not like I could have asked to go back to the church, even if I asked. Well, there were a number of reasons I would rather stay with them. I don't trust the Lao Shu. Yang asked me for my thoughts, but they were the ones who tried first tried to abduct me by force. Also, I know this may sound odd coming from me, but I'm not sure I can trust Bishop Roseberg if he's working with the Lao Shu. Even so, Dante... The Falzone didn't tell me what was going on. In comparison, I feel like the Visconti was more forthcoming in telling me everything. I'd rather be in the know than be left in the dark, being used for the sake of being used. And because Nicola is with the Visconti now. Despite being branded a traitor, he was still someone I could trust. Um, Nicola? About that person Dante brought with him. 
I thought you were a terrible person back then. It was shocking to see how ruthless you could be. I just couldn't get my mind straight seeing the violence play out in front of me. But now that I look back, you had to punish him because he broke the family's rules. Yet, you wanted to find another way so that you didn't have to kill him. At least that's what I think. That's why he cut his ear off instead, to find a reason to avoid killing him. <laughs> he turned his face away from me. I bet Dante knew that, too. He said that, not about what happened, but rather about Nicola himself. They knew each other to be the er they knew each other to the very core. I could finally see how they worked together. I then looked toward the closed doors. I could only hope for the best to happen. Alright. So we got through two chapters tonight. Didn't leave it on quite the cliffhanger that we did last time, which is okay. We don't need to go on <laughs> a stressful roller coaster every every chapter. So with that, we're going to save. That's good game hygiene to save frequently. Um, thank you so much for hanging out with me. I hope that you guys have a great rest of your week. I hope you enjoyed tonight. I had a lot of fun with this story. I um, Yeah, I, I think the I think the story is interesting. I think the characters are interesting. Um, Oh, I didn't save the game. Hoo -hoo. Almost, almost goofed that. Um, <laughs> but uh, yeah, thank you so much. Y'all have a great night. Um, we're going to go, actually, we're going to go bother Guru Vision. <laughs> so right, he's playing some Paper Mario. A little bit of a departure, but um, that's okay. So thank you again. My next stream is on Thursday. We're doing Therapy Thursday. So something relaxing, non-competitive, TBD. But um, yeah, that'll be at 8.30 Central on Thursday. So with that, thank you so much. Bye-bye.